we're about to talk about the most important part of your business. It's the thing that makes people really come to you and feel like, I'm a part of this. Have you ever wondered how to get people behind a vision? How to get people just crazy about the ideas and the concepts you do? Or bring workers in that are passionate about your company? Bring customers in that love your products? Well, I'm gonna tell you the most important part of your business. This is the basis to make things successful. What we're talking about is the vision. So to preface this, I wanna start with this amazing book called Start With Why, written by Simon Sinek. I hope I said the name right. But basically, he talks about that people don't do business with what you do, they do business with why you do it. So the way it basically looks, and I put something up on the screen here, is basically three circles. So right now, you're watching this. You know what you do. Every business that exists knows what they do. If you go right there to the car salesman, they know they sell cars. They know you go to the person who sells lashes, they know they sell lashes. You go to the fitness trainer, they know they sell fitness. If you don't know that, we we'll definitely have ways to help you learn what you should be selling. But that's just the lowest level of business. Just because you know what you're selling doesn't make you a great business. But then you get to the second layer of business, which is how. Now, most businesses that are really good, really, really good, know how they do business. And what do I mean by that? They know their systems. They understand how to take a product and deliver it to the customer really, really well. And this is the businesses that do a nice amount of revenue a year that um, you'll see from time to time, they build up great things, right? But they don't really get to that level of say your Amazons, your Apples, your Googles and things like that because they don't have this last layer of business. What is that? Why they do it. So the last layer of business is why they do it. And this is the powerful thing that makes us so enthralled by certain companies. I want you to think about it like this. Apple, you might have an Apple phone right now. If you're Android, that's not the point I'm making. But you might have an Apple phone right now. And if I said, hey, what about Dell? Would you buy, would you buy a phone from Dell? You might say, no, there's no way I'd buy a phone from Dell. But why is that? Because they're, they're a computer company just like Apple. But Apple's vision is a lot bigger because they have a stronger why. Every company that you see has these powerful whys that make people want to buy from them. That make people say, this is, this is why I want to do business with you because it makes me feel something about myself. So I want to give you a prime example of this. If you've ever watched a Marvel movie or anything like that, you may be familiar or you may know that Disney owns those. But do you know what Disney's essential vision was at the beginning? Their vision was just to provide happiness to everybody. And this powerful vision allows them to do everything from do, do movies, theme parks, go buy a, a Marvel Studios, because all these things are things that make people happy. Google, another one, right? They want to, they, their vision is to organize the world and put it in a meaningful way. So the thing is, when we think about vision, we're, want, we're wanting to add this same thing to your business to make it that powerful structure that makes people fall in love with what you're doing. So the vision when we first started our company and why we bring stuff out the way we do is because it was to challenge traditional thinking, to help people reach their full potential and live a life of freedom. So this is the same thing that I do when everything in my business, every project, everything we do, we make sure that, oh, we're using this vision in order to make all our decisions. So how do we do this in your business? So the first thing before we go any further is understanding this simple statement that's gonna allow you to put this type of oomph into your business. And that's, I want you to take out a sheet of paper and write at the top, we exist too, okay? Now, if you got your companion booklet, you can see on the screen right there, you can write it in this space right there, it's been made for you, we exist too. Now, when you're thinking about this, I want you to think a little bit deeper than just, oh, we exist to sell hair, we exist to do makeup, we exist to do fitness. But what it really is, is we want to find something that really speaks to the people. Now, in this book, what they talked about is when you create a vision and the vision speaks to the consumer, the customer, then what happens is it's more powerful and they show up not because you're so great, but because they believe your product or company says something about them. If you've ever seen any of the branding for the Massive Action Movement, you'll notice that we talk about creating a future where you're in control. That doesn't say anything about us. It says everything about you. So think about it. If you're a person who wants to create a future where you're in control, this is going to resonate with you. It's going to bring people in. So this is what we're trying to do when it comes to entrepreneurship. So let's look at that statement again. We exist to. Let's say you're doing fitness. You could definitely say we exist to provide fitness to people across the world, right? Or you could say we exist to help people reach their ideal body, their ideal fitness level, so they feel enriched and have a healthier lifestyle. How much more powerful is that? 
Because if you're just saying, hey, we exist to do fitness programs, then people are gonna say, well, I can only buy fitness stuff, fitness programs from them. But if you're doing stuff to enrich people's life, you can bring all kinds of supplements in, you can bring all kinds of speakers, you can do everything, because what you've realized is that you have a strong vision. And this is the power of understanding vision and creating something bigger. So this is the first part we're talking about when it comes to creating a powerful company, which is create a vision. Write on a piece of paper right now, or if you got your companion booklet, go through your companion booklet and put, we exist to. And then write what your company exists to. And try to think it's about something a little bit bigger than just, oh, we exist, like I say, to sell XYZ product. Put something in there that's really powerful. So the next thing I wanna talk about is your core values. And this forms the basis of how you're going to hire everybody and how you're gonna operate as a company. So you should have four to six core values and let me explain those. So I put our core values up there really quickly for my company. You see things like challenge traditional thinking. You see things like defying social norms. You see things like inspiring others with action. You see these things and what these things basically do is define how we take every action. One thing about us, I don't care if it makes more money, I don't care if it'll speed up the process, whatever it is, if it defies the core values, I don't do it. We had somebody else, we're gonna have somebody else on here talking to you about managing teams. And the big thing about it is we don't hire people unless they fit into our core values. We were on a live stream a while back and I was telling people that a lot of times we have this idea of pursuing people. And what does that mean? We go out and say, we're gonna pursue this prospect, we're gonna pursue this relationship, we're gonna pursue this opportunity. What we don't understand is that we need to focus on attracting. So I also remember when I first started my company, it was just be me by myself but I created this vision and I created these core values. And for a while, I would just go to places and I would just project this out to people. I would tell them, hey, this is what I'm doing and this is what I'm about. And yeah, a lot of people, when, they, when I did this, they really didn't pay attention. But then eventually what happened is, once in a while, one person would come around and say, hey, I really like that message and I wanna be a part of it. And that person was so much more passionate about the company and the business that we built amazing things together. We built six figure products together. We did all these crazy things because I wasn't out there trying to pursue people. I was proactively attracting them. I was just putting my message out into the world, whether it's through my marketing campaigns, whether it's through everything I'm doing, and then I brought those people in. So you're gonna do the same thing in your business. So the easiest way to do this is take that same sheet of paper and under it, you wanna write four to six core values that your company stands for. Now, if you're getting into too many core values, like you're getting into nine or 10, you haven't really distilled down the things that your company stands for. And the thing is, once you do this, this is gonna make your company have a lot more weight to it because what's going to happen is, people are gonna say, oh, okay, your company stands for something. So four to six core values, the easiest way to do this, just like with the vision we wrote down, we exist to. We want you to write down, we believe. What are some of the things you believe in, right? So I told you like, for example, one of our core values is we believe in inspiring others with action. So you always see us doing crazy stuff. You always see us out here doing things that may be a little bit shocking or outside the comfort zone because what we're trying to do is take action to inspire you that you need to take action. So that's a huge thing with inside our company. And it's the same thing when we bring in employees or interns or anything, we embed that into them that you need to be inspiring others with action. So the same thing comes down to when you're writing your core values. What are things that you stand for as a company? Because this is the thing that gives your company that magic. So this is the most important part of business. Everything that we teach you from this point on is going to be building on top of this principal concept of your vision. It's gonna talk about what you need to do in order to make sure that you have a powerful company moving forward. Everything from the people you bring in to the type of products you put out should be based around this core vision. It should be moving your company along to accomplish this central vision that makes it work. I can tell you, when I created a great vision, this allowed me to get people to work with me, even when they didn't, I didn't have a lot of money because people believed we were going somewhere. And that's the thing. Do people believe your company is going somewhere? Or do people just believe that this is something that you're using to try to make money? When there's something bigger, something greater, something more powerful behind your business, you have the ability to create something that not only generates money, but creates something long lasting that will be here generations after you're gone. And this is what we're talking about when we say we're creating amazing businesses. I wanna help create one million seven figure businesses. I want you to be one of them. And having this powerful structure behind it is gonna allow you to create something amazing in the next 30 days. On to the next.